estate agents, the fact of the matter is eight out of 10 realtors will fail in real estate. This series focuses on what it takes to be a successful real estate agent. Welcome to episode three on how to become a successful agent. I'm Volcher Lepe, CEO of Lepe Temo Properties, top 1% in San Diego County. Today we're gonna to be talking about a morning routine, having a really good morning routine. This goes beyond real estate. There's a lot of successful people around the world and they all have a thing in common which is a powerful morning routine. Well, uh, the morning routine, uh, the biggest reason why people don't have it is a lot of people don't know to have a morning routine, but secondly is because they just say, well, I don't have enough time in the morning to have a morning routine. There's a book called Miracle Morning. You guys should definitely pick up a copy and read that book. It's very powerful and it talks about uh, a morning routine and it outlines six different things that you could do in the morning before you actually even turn on your phone and get your day started, that'll just get you uh, ready for the day, your mindset most importantly, to where you're just ready to come in, you're focused and you know exactly what you wanna do that day. So there's the six things, here they go, okay? And in the book, it outlines them within an hour, so you could choose to do uh, four of the things for five minutes each and then the other two for 20 minutes each or 10 minutes each. Um, and that's 60 minutes total. So the first one is silence. Silence as in meditation, as in prayer. So you could just kind of gather your thoughts and really focus on just being present. So silence is huge in the mornings. Um, the next one is affirmations. It sounds very cheesy, right? Standing in front of the mirror saying affirmations. Um, I always thought it was for losers, uh, but affirmations are very powerful, especially if you do them the right way. Um, it, they could just, you know, kick your mindset into another level to where you're actually, you know, uh, believing that you could do what you want to do and what you set out to do. That way there's no doubt in your head. Uh, after that is visualization. Okay. When you start visualizing your future, your, um, what you set out to be accomplishing your goals, even just for that day, just visualizing, having a successful prospecting hour, um, or a meeting with a client. After that is exercise. Exercise is a big one because a lot of people just get really lazy when it comes to exercise, including myself. Um, you might want to jump in and knock that one out first. That way you have some blood in you, some energy. Um, but again, all it takes is anywhere between five to 20 minutes. Um, the next one, reading. Just reading something positive in the morning, something that's going to get you going, whether it's a Bible verse or whether it's uh, real estate uh, and, and business books um, or motivational, whatever you like to read. After that is writing, scribing. So just write out things that you're grateful for, a little bit about how you want your day to uh, work out or just random thoughts in your head. So these six things, if you pack them in before you even start your day, it's super powerful. Now, again, the biggest issue is with people and especially myself before I even started doing this was, well, I don't have enough time. Well, that's when you start waking up earlier, right? So it's exact sacrifice that you have to do. But again, you sacrifice things uh, in order to achieve your goals and it's always worth it at the very end. So pick up a good morning routine, pick up this book, The Miracle Morning, and then you'll find out what I'm talking about. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. See ya.